Well, look who it is. Hey, Mary Beth Chapman. Hey there, how are you guys doing? How's your day going so far? You know what, it's great I didn't hit much traffic, which is a great thing. For you. Ellie, this is Ellie, I love her so much. What brings you to the Show Hope offices today, Mary Beth? You know, I try to spend about a day a week here. I love the mission to care for orphans by reducing barriers to adoption, so I come about once a week to hang out with you fine people and see what's going on. Good to see you, sweetie. Good to see you. And why did you and Stephen found Show Hope? You know, once we held our daughter, Shoei, for the first time and realized globally the need for children to be who are orphaned to be in families, Stephen and I just thought, you know what? You can use your platform and let's try to help families offset the cost to adoption because it's massively expensive. Hey, P. Working on the golf game? I am. Your putting game is strong. Yeah, well, I'm working on it. Should I take a swing? <laughs> okay. okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay. She's the, the golfing pro here. I'm going to, you have to get me out on the course someday if you want to laugh. Oh, ricochet. Money, my ricochet shot. Oh my gosh, that's always good to see you. Yeah, KP you takes care of everything around here. Amazing executive director. And I'm always amazed these books, the leadership books. You've read every one of these, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah, this one's a pretty good one. <laughs> hey, Mary Beth. Hey, Mary Beth, what books are you reading now? You know what? I am reading the latest John Mark Comer book, Practicing the Way. And what is your favorite book? My favorite book is Francine Rivers, Redeeming Love. Good to see you, Kristen. See you. Have a good one. So adoption is expensive. There's no secret there. What percentage of total adoption costs does a Show Hope Adoption Aid Grant cover? You know, adoption, our adoption aid grants, I think pretty much now in the ballpark of 25 to 35% of the um, cost of adoption is covered. Mm. Hey, Abby. Hey, Mary How are you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, Abby's one of my favorites. And why is she one of my favorites? What's your last name, Abby? Chapman. She's a Chapman, little nepotiz. Okay. <laughs> No, just kidding. Um, but she is not the Stephen Curtis Chapman in lineage. She is the Chapman lineage. This is my brother's daughter. She works in our development department. You having a good day? I am. Are you? Yeah. And yeah, what's I'm one a good day. piece of advice that you would give to your younger self? Younger self, Abby, if somebody asks you to a dance, you're kind of beyond dances, but if somebody asks you to a dance or on a date and you want to say no, say no. Polite is okay, but just say no. You do not have to say yes. Yes, ma'am. And don't sweat the small stuff because there's big stuff coming that you're going to sweat. So, oh my goodness, there's Charles in charge. Hey, hey Charlie. Right how, are you? how are you today? Good, good. Charlie takes care of all the development around here. He's been with us forever, ever. I've known him since I've known Emily. Good to see you. Good to see you. What did you have for breakfast this morning, Mary Beth? I had a coffee with an espresso muffin. Mmm, yummy. How many children and families have been impacted by a Show Hope Adoption Aid grant? That is a fun number because we set out to help 100 families adopt. And to date, we have helped almost 8,900 families adopt. And what is the average Show Hope Adoption Aid grant size? Um, I think until recently, Nathan, that was going to run somewhere between six and 10,000. But with the rising cost of adoption, those numbers have increased to about 8,000 to $12,000 for um, an adoption aid grant. And do you have a hidden talent, Mary Beth? <laughs> I do have a hidden talent. And can you show us? Okay, it won't be hidden if I show you, but do you really want to see it? Okay, here we go. You ready? Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. How's that? That was amazing. Justin. Hey, Mary Beth. How's it going today? I'm doing all right. Okay, How are question you? Question for you. Can yeah. you say the name of all the states in alphabetical order? How many states are there? Fifty. I don't think so. Oh, see, hidden talent. However, Justin can take care of our programs department and he does a great job at it. I so, love it. Thank you for all you do. Yeah, thanks. Have a good day. Best. All see right, ya. good to see you. Oh, guys, 
Did Stephen send me these? Thanks, SCC. And what is old SCC up to today? Um, okay, he had some interviews early this morning, and now he's in rehearsals for the spring tour, sponsored by Show Hope, so go catch a show. And what is your favorite Stephen Curtis Chapman song? Well, y'all know I'm going to say I Will Be Here, along with every one of you that had it sung in your weddings in the 80s, 90s, 2000s. However, Jesus Will Meet You There on the Beauty Will Rise CD is an amazing song. You guys need to go check it out. Can you play guitar, Mary Beth? Can I play guitar? I've been waiting for someone to ask me. Y'all want to see? Because look, I happen to have my pick. So, here we go. You guys ready? Oh, <laughs> pick belongs in this hand. And you won't believe who my guitar teacher is. Wrong song, isn't it? Hold on. Pause. You know what? I need I need Bethany, who's over here, to hum. Hum the song that I'm playing. That is what I'm playing. Okay. See, I fancy myself a guitar player. I'm keeping the pick, but you might can have it later. That was amazing. <laughs> so adoptions have slowed the past few years, especially with COVID, countries closing their borders to travel. Have Show Hope adoption aid grant applications slowed as well? You know what, Nathan, that's a great question. They have not slowed down. Actually, we've seen a 30% increase in adoption aid grant applications. That tells me a few things. It tells me that Christian families are still st stepping into adoption, which I think is beautiful. It tells me that domestic adoption is on the rise. It also tells me that people are still stepping into international adoption. But that does tell me that Show Hope is potentially going to be underfunded by about $500,000 by the end of this fiscal year, which is June 30th, 2024. Something to think about. Hey, Bethany, how you doing? Hey, Bethany, how you doing? Y'all, we have... Not only two Bethany's, we have three Bethany's. One's feeling a little under the weather. So I always say, if you don't know who you're asking for when you call Show Hope, ask for Bethany and chances are you might get the right person. You and Steven have six children together. I care. And what is your grandchildren count up to now? You know what? In October, we added our seventh grandchild. Jack Franklin came in October, so number seven. And what do those grands call you? They call me Grammy and I call them my Grammy's Awards. Hey, Kate. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Kate works in our programs department, specifically with our adoption aid grants. What are you working on today? I'm reviewing adoption aid applications. Oh, how are the families this quarter? They're really amazing. Yeah, it's so fun to work with these families, right? And what all they're taking on and just trusting the Lord with their story, huh? Yes. Oh, Kate does a great job. Love you, Kate. You too. Have a great rest of the day. You too. All right, see y'all. So, Mary Beth, you mentioned Show Hope potentially being underfunded by $500,000 at the end of our current fiscal year. How can someone help meet that need? Okay, so another great question. We have an annual 2020 campaign. It starts April 1st. You can go to showhope.org to give. Our goal is to give $350,000 raised. I think we can surpass that. So I'm asking you to prayerfully consider giving to our adoption a grant program. Again, it starts April 1st, showhope.org. And what are you going to be doing the rest of today? What am I going to be doing the rest of today? It's a really pretty day outside. Did you know that Stephen got me a scooter for Christmas? I might take a scooter ride. And I'm going to call grandbabies and see if there's any chance today that I can potentially stop in and get a hug. And then I'm going to go home and I'm going to organize some bathroom cabinets, which really doesn't sound that great, but needs to be done. So. And do you have time for one more question? Nathan, I don't have time for one more question. Thanks. Love All ya. Right, love Bye. Ya. See ya. Bye.